Welcome back to Sonic Heroes Action Replay. Um, we are here at Mystic Mansion, and ooh, this is not fun. Mystic Mansion, Mystic Mansion. It, oh, this is a uh, this is an anti-Sonic level. I am convinced. An anti-Sonic level. Yes. Such as how like, can how can anybody who hates the Werehog levels? Enjoy this game. <laughs> oh no, I'm, I'm I'm getting a bad feeling from this mystic. So there's, uh, there's mystic a couple mansion. of neat ideas, like yeah, there's a little skelly guy, you know, behind that door. We got to go through there. And, oh, it, oh, oh, it's it's spooky, scary. Holy shit! I kind of like that. That's neat. Uh, ne yeah, neat motif. But how do we do? But well, we gotta use knuckles here. Slam down oh, okay. here and boop. Hit a little switch. So Come around over here and oh, then yeah, so oh, we can we do this. Wow. Oh, wait a minute. So, just... Oh, it makes... Oh! The switches are going to none too subtly change the level that we can actually go through here. Gotcha. Whoa! Ah, okay. So does this mean Eggman has been dabbling in, like, necromancy? Or the mystic arts? It will just sit around here. I thought, why not? I'll just use this castle for my own ingenious ideas! Ha 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 It's like, if if he was actually the one who put the switches around here that does the, you know, reverse polarity or and something like that, or just changes the level entirely... They were already here! Yeah, what cosmic force created this although, mystic mansion? Although, you, you know, brings up a good question. Yeah. I think Eggman did build this. You think Cause, so? Because we got these paintings over here. Oh, yeah? We hit the switch and... Oh my god, the real! Whoa! So these metal enemies you see back there, they yeah. fucking suck. They are invincible. Okay. Like, for real? They are completely invincible until you knock them over, and then they lose their helmet, and then they're oh, open to attack. And if you fall on them, you get hurted. Even if codes were on, we still couldn't defeat it unless if the helmet was off. Interesting. So we have a... We have a... Difficulty progression is what I'm hearing here. We've also got a lot of switches here that change where you go, just kind of warp you around, so even with codes on, there's not a whole lot we can do in terms of escaping the level or going too fast. So what you're saying There's is... also a lot of enemies you have to kill where the game will not continue until you kill all of the enemies in here and hit the switch. Perfect. And not only that, you also have these choke point uh, rail card sections. Oh no. Which you have to do perfectly. <laughs> so, uh. There's not a whole Ow. lot we can do here this time around, I'm uh, unfortunately uh, to say. This is a tough one. This is, uh. This, this isn't gonna be easy. This is our first three parter. Oh. Oh. This is our first three. Part. Oh. Part of it has to be because we have a boss to catch at the end. Oh, good. <laughs> and, good. And what a boss, folks. I tell you what. I tell you the fuck what. It's a zinger. Oh, it's a damn old zinger. Part of it is because the codes will not allow me to have as much freedom as I normally do. Or fun. Or fun. Especially fun. But, uh, yeah, it's, ooh. You know, I just still have Eggman as a dark mage in my mind. But hey, you know, let's just focus on the positives. There were, there were a couple of neat ideas in here, like like this idea I like. It's a skeleton that's got platforms on each of his hands, and we gotta hit the switches to change positions. Check it out. So oh. we go over here to lift, and then he kinda... Oh! Yeah, he moves it right there. Alright, oh. that's not gonna help us much, but if we go to the one on the right... Hey, hey, hey! That is cool. That ain't bad. It's like he's trying to trying to serve you something. It's like, oh, here you go, the, the express platter. Express platter. Here you go. The blue plate special is to die for. Ha <laughs> uh, ha. No, it's 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 just a turn of phrase. I mean, it's really good. It's it's very tasty. You'll love it. He starts laughing and the bones start crackling. <laughs> I don't know how you were able to just, like, so, deflect off of that. So the way those rails work... Oh! The way these rails work mm. is that, you know, you just grind the rail and you will follow the path. It's like one of those 
like like a maze. Yeah, yeah. like a maze. But you do have control about when you jump over them, and you can kind of skip some things. All right, break, break through a wall. wall. That's the wall we got to break through. Uh, where is it? Break through wall. Where is it? Break into wall. There, here we go. Break that wall. All right. Oh, hey. Can we break okay, through break, this? Break oh, this break wall. Break through that wall. All right. Cool. All right. L little, little bit of puzzle. There's, a, there's a, an enemy is stealing my rings. Oh, that's what he was doing. And it, it apparently got knuckles, and it was stealing my rings. That's nice. Thanks. See, I thought you were just like dancing or something like that, and you're just dropping all your money. Kill all the enemies. There, go. There and there. Aha. Now what? Now we do the triangle, the triangle, the, tri the triangle jump. <laughs> hey, job. there we go. You go to this open door. You know, I actually do like the design of this entire place. I, like I just don't know how it would play. I like that skelly guy that that pops up yeah, so you, often. It's like he's following you throughout the entire level. He's like, hey, did they make it here yet? I feel, I feel like there's some developer that came up with that idea, and he's like, check it out. He's like, little skelly guy, you go there, he's gone. Yeah. He's like, yeah, what do, you, what do you think? What do you guys think? And then they had to send it to approval to, to, through uh, Sonic Team's higher-ups, and they had to send it to approval to Sega, and of course it took six to eight weeks before he said, yeah, we'll do it! All but that? By that point, he already left the company. Yeah, I was about a, to say, to, yeah. To become a, 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 a rice farmer with his aging uncle or something. I'm taking my skeleton idea, I'm going somewhere else with it. At least he got paid for it still. Yeah, that's true. And that's how he was able to start the rice farm. And that's how he was able to build another silo. Uh, it, it's... And, now, and now they're one of the top exporters of, of the country. Oh, I love happy endings. Thanks, Sonic Heroes. <laughs> oh, the, the only thing Sonic Heroes was good for was making a rice farmer an extra silo. <laughs> <laughs> He'll make some tourists in Tokyo go... Hmm, hmm. <laughs> just the approving head shake is just like... Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yes, 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 very good, very good. It almost looks like... Okay, just imagine you have a Knuckles toy in your hand, okay? Yeah. And just imagine you have the Eggman robot in there. You use the amazing spring-loaded hands on your Knuckles toy. Bam! It hits the robot and, it, and the helmet flies off. And then you just mash them together. It's just like... So it's just the Happy Meal toys? Absolutely. These, these are Happy Meal toys fighting. You can't convince me otherwise. See, now I am actually believing... Oh, there... Oh! Hey! Oh, Mr. Skelly, man. Hey, look at there. Look at there. Hey, come on down here, folks. Hey, come here. I, I got a fun thing for you. Did you ever watch Beetlejuice? Oh, yes. I, I, I am uh, more of, of a fan of the show than the movie, I think. They, like, Michael Keaton touches a lot of people, and he's very handsy in that movie. It, it was also... He, he was like, yeah, hey, what's he doing to me? Hey, he's always putting his hands oh, on Well, he's supposed to be shoulders. like a used car salesman of the <laughs> underworld. <laughs> I guess, yeah, he is, you know. Or, or an exterminator. <laughs> used car exterminator. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take your Honda, and I'll put it in the back of shit, and pff, one right between the eyes. <laughs> just for you, Buster. <laughs> Bang, and there goes your car. It's just, it's just dead, gone. As long as you can give me enough beetles. Twitch free, or your money back. Or at least a two-year subscription. Uh, subscription. <laughs> God, now I want to meet Beetlejuice in this level. <laughs> or maybe that that's what the skeleton represents. Ghost, Ghost with the most is just in the background, just going... Nah, I like, hey, how you doing? See, I like cartoon Beetlejuice more because he made more puns. <laughs> so, of course, I fell in love with him. Absolutely. All right, triangle jump to these rails. Here we go. Eh, eh, eh. Seems easy. We can do it. No problem. No! 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 All that progress. Everything I did that whole level. All those rings. All the level ups I got. Gone! Just like that! Yeah! Ah! Ah! No! It can't be! It wouldn't do something as stupid as this! How- Why?! No! How?! What?! Got it! Kit. How? Oh. Let's take care of these guys first. So you have to aim, is what I'm hearing. Am I recently deceased? Yeah. Are you are you dead right now? Am I dead right now? Do I need to sing Calypso to make this make sense? <laughs> uh, uh, oh. Yeah. Okay. Ah! We still made it. Still alive. I don't know. Oh. Okay, I saw Knuckles clearly get crushed there, and then he just was like, I'm fine. Yuck. 
Wait. Well. Oh. Okay. Well. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Hey, how you doing? Uh, daylight come and me wants to go home. What the hell? Uh, I don't think we're supposed to be here, dude. Uh, I think we're in Chaos's Valley or something. I don't think we're supposed what? to be here, dude. What the hell? Uh, 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 this isn't, uh, uh, right. oh, oh, what the oh, hell? No. All right, so what we have to do here is there are three altars just to tack on even fucking more to this level. There's a speed portion, a fly portion, and a power portion. For Sonic Spit, we just gotta, you know, do all the- Oh why? my why? Why? god. Why? 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 Oh god. Why? Porque? Donde? Just why? <laughs> Porque donde? Gosh dang darn dang. Who day? <laughs> what day? Rode. <laughs> oh, me or me or my who day? Oh, Yay! God. Well, it's a good thing you got, like, infinite lives, right? Yeah, well, well, we don't have the codes on, so we're just, you're down to a simple, respectable 94 or something. Oh, that's all. That's all. Yeah, that's all. Otherwise, I would have had to do this entire portion over again. That's gross. You know, it's pretty lucky that this level doesn't have the 10-minute time limit that old Sonic games used to have. So I didn't know you could turn off the 10-minute time limit in Sonic Mania. Really? Yeah. Oh. And that, I just thought it was a thing. And now it makes it way more fun. Man. Now, is that from the update or from the beginning? It might have been an update. I don't have the DLC for it yet. So I think it's just they updated to, hey, you can now, uh... You have explored the level for more than 10 minutes if you want. Because yeah. I always found that time limit kind of arbitrary. I mean, you know, gotta go fast and all that, but... I, I want to have, like, fun, though. Mm -hmm. I want to, like, like, run around and explore the level. I want to try and get rings. I want to do the blue sphere levels, because I'm, like, weirdly all right at them. All right, no need to brag, okay? Not all of us were wizards at the blue spheres. I had the Sonic 3 collection on PC. Oh. Which means that I played, uh, you know... I'd say that was like my first real deep dive into into Sonic. When I had the, the Sonic 3 collection, because I just played on PC. Mm -hmm. Then I came with the Blue Sphere game, that uh, that little mini game where you go around, isometric view, yeah. that kind of stuff. And I got... I just decided one night to really get good at this level, and now I have this weird second sense <laughs> when it comes to, uh, to Blue Sphere. Now, have you have you gotten perfects the entire time? I've gotten a few perfects. Perfects are difficult to get. They are. Isn't it uh, you have to make it so that if if you collect blue spheres that go around in a square, yeah. it turns all the ones in the middle into rings. And I sometimes they get tricky where, you know, some of them are already filled in. Right. So you can you, you can either make it all red spheres, or if you go a certain way, mm. all that becomes rings and you get extra rings. Right. And that's how you get perfect. It's maddening. Uh, speaking of maddening, are we in hell? Uh, no, we're in the power portion, and I think the saturation is up too high. Hmm. Oh, good. One of these big guys yeah, on a small these, platform. Yeah, one of these invincible big guys. That's, that's perfect. I love it. Just, it's, there's nothing more disheartening in these games to see something with a cage. It's just like, hey, look at this! The way forward! The thing you have to do to keep going! Can't do it! Like, I know that Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 and, you know, a lot of other subsequent ones, but it feels like that they just overuse these cages so much, now I dread seeing them. So these cages are just, you know, really okay. obnoxious sometimes, and mm. I just I just hate seeing them, and especially when it's just right there. Like, so, why? Uh, like, why is it not opening? What did we do wrong? What did we do wrong? I did everything you don't. fucking wanted me to do, you son of a bitch! God! Don't tell me you didn't kill everyone. I forgot to kill everyone. Uh, I, I think I got the ones in Sonic, so I just got the one in Knuckles. Did I get the one in Tails? I don't think I did. I think I just went to it. You're going to die! Yes, we all are! That's how life works! <laughs> But this is making this come short, come sooner. You're, you're right. <laughs> just, whoa, just one day closer to the grave. Oh, there. Please kill that thing. No! Ah! 
Mm. It's like every time I play a level in Sonic Heroes, I, d I shave off five minutes of my ah! life. I hate knockback. There. I've hated it ever since Ninja Gaiden. I hate knockback. Oh, it makes Castlevania nigh unplayable for me. Oh! And they're like, no, oh, that was weird. No, 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 we're gonna talk about this! Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna talk about well, what we just saw! Let's sit down and discuss what this, What the okay? fuck did we just see, guys? Did we go into an alternate dimension? What the fuck is Eggman working with? We have to stop him now! 7,000, wow. 12, 25, 28, remember the date. <laughs> I was there. I was there. I was or, there. I, or I will be there. I will be there. I'm going to be there. This is our roaring 20s. <laughs> Oh, boss time, right? Yup. Trying to stop us now? <laughs> what a joke! What did you say? I uh really mad. Hate Get this. Them. Cool. The robot storm. A bunch of enemies. This hey, is the difficult is version oh, of that earlier boss fight we did with Eggman, except they got a lot more enemies and they're a lot harder, and there's a lot of maneuvering around, and it's Tedious, and I hate it. And your voice is getting higher. I'm going to cry gonna if I keep talking about it. <clears throat> gotta kill more robots. <laughs> <laughs> but but really, this is just an obnoxious boss fight. It it feels like that they really ran out of ideas. Well, so far we've only fought like what three giant Eggman robots, maybe two. Too cool. One of them is basically you know one of them makes a comeback in the other one. Yeah yeah. So, so barely any. I'm pretty sure that the next team that we face is going to be Chaotix, because that's going to be after the seventh, the, the, the next batch of stages, I'm sure. Yeah, maybe? Is that right? Did we fight Chaotix already? We fought Team Rose, we fought Team Shadow. Yeah, I don't think we fought Team Chaotix yet. So maybe that's coming. That should have been here, if it, if it didn't. I, mean. I can't wait. I love that Tails gives Sonic a swift, a swift boot to the head in order to activate that, like, team attack. It's just what Sonic needs sometimes. Hey, Sonic, I'll kick you into Eggman's robots! A boot to the head! Boot to the head into Eggman's robots! <laughs> Look at all these Eggman's robots! Eggman robots! <laughs> Housewife, you'd hear it, Nick at night. Eggman's robots. <laughs> you watching Ma's house again? Or Ma's family. <laughs> what the? Why are we here? Where? What? What happened? Why? What happened? What? You went backwards. Oh, okay. It, it's because I'm Knuckles. I got the power stance, and I don't think the cannon works. Is it? Oh, All right. good God. All right. Okay, so it's just go you know, Sonic. Shoot over there. Why yeah. does it have to be different characters? Why not just have it work? Because the way the cannon works is it fires off differently depending on which character goes into it. And no, I understand how it works. So, I just don't know why. So, well, they, they had to get me over there, and they had to use a cannon, and I can get there if I'm Sonic or Tails, but if I'm Knuckles, it's just, okay, here's some items, but uh, you, you're, you, you can't do it. I mean, is Knuckles just too dummy thick to get over that chasm? Well, he doesn't have the power to go that far. Wait. Uh... Questionable decisions were made in this game, I think. Just a little bit. You know, any any decision could be questionable if you question it. Huh? Yeah. It's like, I chose to have oatmeal for breakfast. Wow. And oatmeal? Oatmeal. Really? That's questionable. Huh. Oh, uh, well, uh, I, 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 dro I drove to work in my Audi. <laughs> Audi? Audi? Really? <laughs> That's questionable. I decided to play Sonic Heroes today. Sonic Heroes. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, logical. Oh, yeah. Lo very logical sense. By the way, this is unfair. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. There are, th there are three invincible guys. What I should have done is I sh- Oh, no! And what's terrible is that when you get hit into a cycle by one of those things, y you're, like, screwed. Because by the time you get back up, you're in your iframes run out, you get hit again, you haven't picked up any rings! And that doesn't help matters when you have action replay on! Mm. You still get hit by them! Mm. But what I should have done is I should have used the team blast on those guys. 
That's the only way to, to kill them without having to get their armor. That, that cuts through their armor. So that's what you should have done. If you want to do this fast enough, you have to use your team blast at the appropriate moments. Meaning this guy, you have to actually take on. Well, it looks like his helmet was already gone, so that's good. I'd, just, I'd use a team blast thinking that he would be, But then these three invincible guys shows up, and then you think, oh boy. One, two, and there was a third one, three, and then everybody in position, here we go! Yeah, it actually looks like they don't have their helmets, so that's good. They're just big boys. Their helmets are purple, I think. They do have their helmets. Oh. Then how are they taking damage? That last guy didn't take damage, because he did What the fuck? Oh, it's just a wall of bullets! What the f- Oh, what the hell?! Wait, no! Wait, no! Oh, come on with all of this now! Mm, Sonic at the firing range. I never thought I'd see the day. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. All right. Yeah, okay. All right, all right. Time all right. to do it again. Time, Time to, do to do it again. again. Time to do it 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 again. Here we go again with the robot And now storm. I'm like, do I really need Sonic Heroes this week? Do I really need... Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> I can go ahead and not do it's it. An unhealthy bit of challenge every single week. I can, I can do it. <laughs> I don't know, I mean... His, his yeah. voice is rising again. <laughs> Everybody evacuate the premises. His voice is going up again. Oh, this is the third time. It's voice rising three. <laughs> There it goes, we're, we're at voice con three. You didn't know when the second time happened because it was off the record. <laughs> that joke will never go away. For the record. Kind of like Dead Rising 4. No matter how much we decry it, it'll never go away. Never. Not until they reboot the entire franchise. Which, it seems, Capcom loves doing nowadays. Uh, hey, if, if Capcom makes it, it's alright, because they had some pretty damn good artists and engineers working on the first one, which is why it still holds up today. And they cheaped out and hired an American, uh, you know, which did great for Dead Rising 2, and then they didn't do what they expect in Dead Rising 3, and then they completely shit the bed for 4. See, that's what I don't understand. 3 is still one of my favorites just because of how much stupid fun you can have. Yeah, but we didn't know how good it was until we actually played it. Yeah. And that's the sad part. I think Capcom withheld relevant information! Is that illegal? Uh, that's false information. They, they just didn't tell us that they- Oh, by the way, the game's actually great. Maybe, that, maybe that's what Sega's doing with Sonic Frontiers, which is why they're showing this really unflattering gameplay demo that everyone's just been tearing apart and think See, they know everyone will think it will suck, and then when they actually play it, it'll be like, well, egg on my face. Maybe that means curb your expectations. Uh, yeah. It's just... Never go in with high expectations, just, like, see the announcement and go, oh, that's cool. Especially if it's a goddamn Sonic game. <laughs> See, uh, back, back when I was younger, it's just that like, you see the announcement of the sequel or something coming out, and it's like, oh my gosh, that's really cool, I can't wait. Now that I've kind of grown older, it's just like, oh, that's that's pretty cool looking. Can't wait for it to come out. And then, you know, the two years of extra development time it needs and comes out, and it's just like, oh, well, all right. Neat. I like to watch trailers because, you know, the hype is fun, but mm -hmm. really, the games I play are just ones I didn't know I wanted to play. Like Elden Ring. Like, well, that, well I mean, yeah, well. No, no, that was, I, oh, oh your yeah, tails, no, please, son. I, re I remember the day you said, oh yeah, I forgot Elden Ring was coming out. And then you were like, oh, it's coming out like this week? Yeah, I kept my hype pretty low until just a, just a couple of days before it came out. Like, 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 like a month before it came out. Finally, it's over. Jesus. And then when it came out, it became my latest obsession. Now it's one of my favorite games of all time, and it was it was phenomenal. See, if you go in expecting nothing and get pleasantly surprised, it's ten times better. Yeah, like we you know uh, we did we took three in, hours and three minutes and why is everything okay. so long in this okay. game? Okay, all right. Well, Woo. hey, next time on Sonic Heroes Action Replay, we'll get to the action replay part. See you then.